Hi everyone, I'm Selena for Who is Jesus today, and it's a beautiful day here. Anyway, okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I just want to encourage you today with the word of the Lord, of the Lord. Psalm 37, you may be on the receiving end of evildoers, and so the Lord wants you not to fret, or you may be the one that's doing the evil doing. But I say that this is God's word to all of us. If you're the one that's receiving evil, if, if, if you are the, are the one that's being plotted on and schemed on by the wicked, God wants to encourage you today. Do not let your heart be fretful. But you may be the one that, you know what, you need a change of heart. Maybe you don't know Jesus or you do. You have come to accept Christ, but you've not been in a good place. Perhaps your heart is a backslidden and away from God. And it isn't, uh, none of us are beyond going the wrong way, going astray, and becoming evil uh, doers. I want to let you know today, it is not too late. You can turn your heart back to the Lord and become one that pursues to do the goodness of God. Because God's been good to you to allow you and me at times to go on and on and on in the error of our ways. But I do know that there are probably several out there that feel like you're on the receiving end of people applauding and scheming. Maybe they are sabotaging you at work. Um, you're trying to do what's right, and every time you turn, there's another scheme. I want to encourage you to read Psalm 37 and receive it and believe it. I've seen God do. Uh, I've seen God do great and mighty things in my behalf because I just said, "Lord, the battle is yours. I will not pursue revenge, but I will look to you, God, to handle this a situation, person, or people, and the way that you see fit, knowing that, God, your plan is that they will be redeemed. Because it's not your will that any should perish. You want us to be free. Do you want to be free today? Do you want to feel the freedom that you don't have to worry about your evildoers? No matter what is really going on around you, you win in God. And for those of you you know who you are. It's time to get right. It's time to stop the schemes. It's time to uh, stop pushing the injustice on the innocent, the vulnerable. It's time for you to commit your way to the Lord so you may have the peace of God. Because you cannot convince me, evildoers, that you have peace. Psalm 37. Do not fret because of evildoers, nor be envious of the workers of iniquity. Don't fret. Don't envy if they seem to be even advancing right before your eyes. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. Keep trusting in God. You who feel like you can't take any more, you're about to go under, you will not. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord. And he shall give you the desires of your heart. As you and me delight in the Lord, our heart begins to be shift where it's supposed to be. And God's desires become our desires. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. If he said it, it's his will. It's going to come to pass. Okay? He shall bring forth your righteousness in the light and your justice as the noonday. Rest in the Lord. I will confess that's a challenge for me often. I just got to chill in God. Rest. Rest. God's got this. I may not see it all happening, or I don't know what's going on. I don't have to know it all. That's another place where I have to stop myself and, and, and be reminded. To be reminded that God's ways are higher than mine. He has this. He's working it out for my good, 
for your good. So rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Oh, the patience. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm a city girl by nature, although I've changed over the years. But, oh, I don't have time to wait. I don't have time to wait. But you have to wait. Do not fret because of him who prospers in his way. Because of the man who brings wicked schemes to pass. It seems like they're winning, like they're, they're steps way ahead. Even things that are happening in our uh, society, in the United States of America. It often looks like the darkness is winning. That it's advancing. But rest in the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Waiting patiently and resting doesn't mean we don't do anything. We don't speak the truth. We don't take steps of faith in God yes because we have to remember too faith without works is, is dead yes but while we are stepping out while we are praying while we are being led we are also resting in our spirits rest in the Lord do not fret because of him who prospers in his way they seem to prosper. Now cease from anger and forsake wrath. I know for some, that's uh, a real challenge. Self-control, right? Not to get angry. Not to be, to, to go into rage. Do not fret. It only causes harm. For evildoers shall be cut off. But those who wait on the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall be no more. Indeed, you will look carefully for his place but it shall be no more you won't even find your enemies you'll wonder what happened to this one what happened to that one what happened to this one but see the meek will inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace the abundance of peace oh the wicked plots and he plots against the just you ever been plotted on I have I could be right now or you Throw it off. He gnashes at him with his teeth, but the Lord laughs at him, for he sees that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and the needy, to slay those who are of upright conduct. That's right, upright a conduct. That's you, right? You've been at work trying to do what's right. Their sword shall enter their own heart and their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man has is better than the richest of many wicked. And this is a warning to anyone who's on, this, who's on the side of evil that what you're doing is you're, you're setting plots for yourselves. You're setting your own schemes, your own, you're, 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 you're digging your own ditches, uh, for lack of a better term. And sometimes, you know, maybe it's just really, that's what it is. But you see, you are setting up yourselves to go under when you plot on someone even if you think they deserve to go down you leave that to God God's the final judge you leave that to God you rest in the Lord you and me we do what's right yes we have to pray we have to put in the whole armor of God yes sometimes you have to confront someone face to face eye to eye but you know something revenge belongs to the Lord and so for those of you who are choosing to, to do what's not right this is a warning to you today in the, in the Lord turn to the Lord turn to the Lord if you were once with God and you've gone on the wrong side return to the Lord prodigals come home and stop being out there trying to hurt others because you are hurt and you will be healed and restored in the Lord and for those who know there's a scheme simmering on the stove right now against your life and your family your work your mission in the Lord cease from anger don't take the matters in your hands but let the Holy Spirit guide you in how to fight the battle in the name of the Lord and you will not go under and neither will I thank you for your time today you can like and subscribe God is for you and not against you 
If God's for you, who can be against you? Until next time, Shalom.